My friends, welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. I hope you all are doing well. For many years, I've been using a cot from One Tigress. It's a great cot. I used it in the back of my truck. I've used it in hot tents. I've used it all over the place. But over the last couple of months, it's come to my attention that this product has been discontinued. It is no longer available. Week after week, I've received emails and messages of people asking about that cot. The only thing that I do know is that a new version of that cot is coming out in the future. But based upon what I've been told, it doesn't sound like it's going to be anytime soon. Because of that, I went out looking for an alternative, a substitute, and folks, I have found one. This episode is all about this cot here. This is the Nature Hike Army Wild Cot. This is a two-level system, and you'll see what I mean by that in just a moment. The same is true for the One Tigress Cot. In general, both of these cots look to be very similar as far as the ultimate design, the way they set up, the frames, the legs, and so on. Let's do a component breakdown. What we have here to begin with is the storage bag. We have a grab handle up here at the top. We have some webbing along the bottom. We have some information about the product and this opens up with a single zip. Here we have the cot cover. We have the frame. And when it comes to these frame sections, we have three of these. These are the frame poles. You have one large pole for each side. We have some instructions and we have the feet for this cot. One thing that really stands out from the get-go is the storage bag. This is large enough to hold all of the components easily, and there's a lot of space left over. That's a nice touch. Oftentimes when it comes to these cots, the storage bags are so small that you can barely get the components to fit. That's not the case here. There is a nice touch here. The setup instructions for this cot are actually printed on the back side of the cot itself, and it shows you exactly how it's supposed to be set up. When it comes to the frame poles, these have been shock corded. Each pole has its own little stretchy elastic band that holds it all together. You have a sleeve on each side and that's what the frame poles go into. With the frame supports, we have more elastic bands holding everything together, one on each side. With the frame supports, they have cups on both sides. These cups connect to the frame poles. You push down, latch it into place. On this side, it's adjustable. You connect that cup to the frame and then lock it into place. This is what they call setup number one. This is the setup without the feet on it. With this setup here, it gets you off the ground roughly six and a half inches. Let's flip this over and let's put the legs on it. With the feet on, this stands 14 and a half inches tall. With this sitting roughly 14 inches off the ground, it makes for a good sitting platform. So you could sit on the edge of this, and let's say that you had like a wood stove in front of you, you're in a hot tent. You could easily navigate around your campsite. You can have a table right next to you where you're cooking. You could do basically anything that you wanna do. It's a comfortable seating position. As far as laying down on this cot goes, let's see. Oh yeah, it's perfect. At the same time, it's rather wide. When I'm laying down on this cot, I do not feel the frame poles pushing into my arms, into my shoulders. Rolling over to my side, as comfortable as any cot out there. Of course, it'd be nice to have like a really good pillow here, but yeah, this is perfectly comfortable. As far as comfort goes, this is virtually the same as any cot that I've personally used. It's the same as the one Tigris, the Go Cot, Alps Mountaineering, the list continues. With this Nature Hike Cot, the price of this is $123 currently on Amazon. It is available in two colors, khaki and black. At the time that I ordered this, khaki was the only color available. Folks, I should have waited. This khaki color is going to get so dirty, so nasty. Do not buy this. Do not make the same mistake that I did. If you decide to purchase this cot, and that's completely up to you, get the black color. 
Anyways, everybody, when the cot is in the storage bag, it is 20 and a half inches by seven and a half inches. This cot is 74.8 inches long. It is 25.6 inches wide. And again, you have the two setup options, which we've discussed already. The weight of this cot with all of the components, 5.9 pounds. The load capacity, 330 pounds. When it comes to the materials, you're looking at a 600 denier Oxford polyester fabric. We have polymer hardware along with 7075 aluminum poles and frame bars. Now that we've taken a look at this cot together, let's go over my impressions so far. As far as quality goes, 10 out of 10, this looks excellent. We have good quality materials. Even the storage bag has YKK zippers. As far as the stitching goes, there's no issues, no loose threads, nothing like that. I do like the fact that you can set this cot up at two different levels. So you can have it low, close to the ground, or you can have it higher up. This gives you a lot of versatility, not only in camp, but let's say in the back of your vehicle. Putting a cot in the back of your truck, a lot of people do this. You can also put it behind the driver's seat like I've done recently. All you have to do is just take out one section and it works perfectly, surprisingly well actually. When you're laying on the cot, the platform is nice and tight. Now of course, I have to test this product out and I will. In a few months, I'll be back with my review. Right now, it feels tight. The question is, let's say over the course of hours, is this going to stretch any? More than likely, it's going to stretch some, but not that much. And that's because this is made from polyester. Polyester material does not stretch like nylon does. We should expect some stretching, but not much. The storage bag is plenty large for all of the components. Also, the storage bag has a nice grab handle along with some webbing. You can attach it to other items, maybe inside of your truck. I guess technically you could attach it to your backpack, but this weighs like six pounds. It is a little bit heavy for backpacking purposes. But nonetheless, you do have the webbing and you can do anything that you want to. Speaking of weight, the overall weight of this is not bad considering the size of this cot. Most cots with a similar size are quite a bit heavier than this, with some of them being over 20 pounds. Even with heavier cots that weigh like 20 pounds, they all feature the same weight limit, 330 pounds. Size-wise, this cot is good for someone who is 6 foot 2 inches and below. And that's going to be the case with most cots that are out on the market today, unless you get one that's like extra long or something like that. When it comes to the setup process, it is identical to many other camping cots. There's nothing new here, nothing different. The overall setup process is fairly easy. I have to say when it comes to actually latching in the frame support bars, this is easier than some other cots. When comparing this to the One Tigris cot, that cot requires quite a bit of strength to get those frame supports into place. Luckily with this one here, it's not that bad. Or I should say, it's not that much of a struggle. Before I wrap up this episode, I do wanna talk about color one more time. Do not go with the khaki color if you plan to take this out into a dirty environment. As you can see here already, just from setting this up, this is filthy. It is stained. Because of that, it would be my advice to get the black version. That, my friends, is a first look at the Nature Hike Army Wild Cot or the Nature Hike Outdoor Folding Cot. Everywhere you look, there's a different name for this product. And I'd say that's one of the issues when it comes to Nature Hike. They have so many names for so many different products. Oftentimes each product will have like two or three different names. It's actually pretty interesting. I'm not really sure why they do that, but hey, whatever. On Amazon, this is called the Army Wild Cot. On the bag itself, it says Outdoor Folding Camping Cot. So. Hey, whatever, it doesn't matter. In the end, it's the same product. What I see here, I do like. There's no big glaring issues. Make sure to stay tuned to the channel as I will begin testing this out, and in the future, I will post my review, my agenda-free review. I purchased this product. No one owns me or my opinions. I don't do sponsorships, nothing like that. If you're interested in this, great. If you're not, great, it doesn't matter to me. Anyways, everybody, I am done. Hit the like button before you go. I do appreciate it. Also, make sure to comment down below and share your thoughts. What do you all think about this cot? I really messed up when it comes to color. I should have waited and got the black one. This thing is really stained. Ah, anyways, everybody, I'm done. Comment down below. Strength and honor. Bye for now.